Hello everyone and welcome back to Cattails. And we are here with Overcast and the Fall Colony, which is growing slowly. I mean, we've gained a little bit more territory than we usually have had. And uh, I keep forgetting to set the battles, so I think that's what we're gonna do first, is make sure we go set the battles down here with our guard. And uh, I'm not adding custom, I'm not adding the custom characters just yet. Um, because again, uh, I'm leaving that open for a little while because I am accepting characters from you guys if you are on the Patreon or a sponsor of the channel here on YouTube. So I'm going to give a little bit more time for you guys if you guys do want to, uh, to get involved with that. I'm going to give you guys a little bit more time. <laughs> but for now, I think we're going to go and fight in some of these battles uh, because we do need to continue gaining uh, some territory. And so what I'm going to do is I'm not actually going to... Uh, to interact much with the NPCs that are, um, uh, I'm not going to interact much with the ones that might be changing or that probably will be changing at some point. And so that will be our guard who's currently called Claudius. And then, uh, whenever we end up getting the marriageable cats, then, um, I'm not going to be interacting much with them right away until we have, uh, have the characters. In fact, I may not even put them in until we have the characters or I, I may do that and then just kind of look at their personality here. Oh boy. All right, oh, Billy is on the run. <laughs> oh, and he turned around and he actually got me. There we go. Uh, but we're good. Uh, so we've got these battles done. And then let's make sure we continue to walk through the territory down here so we can claim a little bit more. And we finally got a nice tabby coat for, for Overcast because she's always been a gray tabby, but there hasn't actually been a good gray tabby coat in the game. Except for I think there might have been one custom coat or one or two. Uh, but up until this point, we haven't really had any gray tabbies. And uh, so now we finally have one. We actually have two, I think, because I'm pretty sure there's a, the zebra coat is a gray tabby too, but it's a little bit lighter, and so I opted to go with this one. Really? Really? <laughs> this is how this is gonna go? Oh gosh. Okay. Oh, he's right in the corner though, so I'm not gonna complain about that because that makes him easy to catch. There we go. But yeah, so uh, we do finally have some gray tabby coats, which is really, really nice because this looks a lot more like Overcast than. Um, than the coat we had before this, so that's good. Um, and this is actually the Umber coat. We finally just got it last time, and I actually really, really like it. Uh, where are we currently? We're down too far. We need to go back up. I'm just gonna focus on trying to get some of this upper territory more than anything, I think. And uh, we'll we'll do some hunting as well because we will claim this slowly, but for at least at first here. Um, we're, we're not gonna, until we can get Lavender, we're not gonna claim a whole bunch right away or anything. So, yeah, there's that. Alright, let's see if we can catch this squirrel if he doesn't get too close. There we go. And have we gained enough experience to level up anything? We're almost enough exper at enough experience to level up our fighting, so that'd be good. Um, oh, and one thing you guys have been telling me that I don't think I actually mentioned last time is that, um... You can actually warp into the festivals, apparently. Uh, you just have to do it after 11, and so that was why I was getting errors before, of course, and then I was a little bit scared to try it after that because I wasn't sure if it would break anything or not. But um, it sounds like you can warp in, at least according to several of you guys, so we might have to try that for the Winter Festival here and, uh, and see if we can manage to get that hap to happen. I'm curious, will the cats in your colony be ones that are now eligible to... Um, to play festival games with you and such, or, or is that not a thing? It'll be interesting to see um, if that works out or not. And uh, I don't think... So what I'll probably focus on doing... Let's actually head back and sell some stuff off here. Uh, but what I'll probably focus on doing for now is kind of establishing the layout of the camp. And maybe adding a few walls, because like I said, I'm not adding... Um, I'm not going to add a bunch of new characters until we actually get some new characters. And uh, we've had some submissions now, but I'm not going to add them in right away because I want to give you guys some time if you do happen to be interested in that. Um, and as always, if you are, you can find links in the video description. Uh, but yeah, so until we have those characters, then what I'm going to end up doing is um, I'll, uh, I'll add in those dens and such. But I kind of want to establish... Like, I kind of want to start putting in some walls and stuff. So I think we'll go over here, we'll talk to Storm, and we'll sell off some of this, uh, some of the stuff we have here. And I think you liked mice, right? I'm pretty sure you liked mice. So, oh, we should have sold off the black hairs, too. So let's see if we give a mouse. Yes, there we go. And here we are. We'll go ahead and give the mouse... 
and another mouse and that should get us up to no it didn't actually get up to us up to four so let's go back to the shop we'll sell off some of these and maybe I'll sell off these crows too and then these squirrels are worth quite a lot as well so we'll sell them there we go and then can we give these berries to autumn does autumn like berries that is my question here uh let's see. oops there we go and we should chat with them too i didn't actually chat with storm there uh let's go ahead and give the winter blueberries so she's okay with it i don't think i'm gonna give her a whole lot though because i think she's kind of neutral all right the busy bee is always building it is never satisfied with its work a snowflake is, an, is individual, but when it reaches the earth, it joins its siblings in a blanket of indistinguishable white. She's gotten quite philosophical. So, too, is a community started by distinct individuals that must eventually blend together into perfect unity. Um, she has become quite the philosopher, it seems. And let's actually chat with Storm as well. And we'll talk. Hey, I'm taking a survey to see how my trading post is doing. Could you help me out with it real quick? On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate our services? What about the quality of our goods? Really? Well, I appreciate your honesty, Overcast. Honestly, I think you do a great job, Storm. Uh, you're, you're doing amazing. All right, let's see here. If we visit the shop, I, we actually don't have a whole lot. Um, I'm going to buy just a few walls because I want to see... Let's manage the colony. I'm going to go to the build menu because I just want to see how some of these walls look. And I think what we'll do... Let's go shift and we'll place some walls. I think up oh, we can, oh, that's interesting. Oh, those are like boxes, I see. Well, I think what we'll do is we'll place this here. I'm gonna, oops, no, I wanna, I wanna just use plain style. And then you press that, um, you press E. All right, if we do, I don't want it to be quite so far down. I just want it a little ways down. I wish you could, like, drag it. You can't click and drag, unfortunately. There we go. We can place it there. And then I want to place it... Like, I want to... I want to... I'm going to kind of close off this, uh... The den here. Because... Then that'll be, um... It'll be nice and sheltered. Oops! Sorry. <laughs> it's yelling at me because of that. There we go. And that's pretty cool, actually. Uh, so I like I like this. And that'll kind of close off this area and make it a little bit more enclosed. And a little bit more interesting. Let's go ahead and conf uh, confirm the changes. And yeah, that's pretty nice. And then Autumn has like a nice little sheltered area here. And I could like use this back area if she needs to. She can kind of, she kind of has her own space. And we'll probably build those around most of the dens, just to kind of give each of the cats their own little area. But I think we'll head off this way, and uh, we'll rest for the night, because it is getting later. I guess it's not quite six, but I think even at five, it's still a decent time, is it? 6 a.m. So yeah, five, you can, you can go to bed and wake up at a decent hour. We should make sure we talk to our guard as well, in uh, our once our guard is up. And I don't think... Okay, not yet. So the battles are there. We'll make sure we go participate in those battles. And then we'll, we'll come back and choose the next battle. That's really a cool feature. I wouldn't have even thought about that with this game. But it, it's honestly such a cool feature. And I'm super thankful for it. And actually, you know what we should do today? We should go see if we can locate the Winter Totem. Because I don't know that I've actually activated it yet. And so that would be an important thing to make sure we get active. Oh, and there's ghosts popping out of the graveyard. That's that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> um, that's just what graveyards do, I guess. All right. And whoa, okay. Whoa, we've got a lot of cats here. All right. Dexter and Ellie are after us, but oh, okay. Yeah, no, they're going down. They're going down. Handled. Absolutely handled. So let's see. Um... They did a good job. The, the colony is growing. It's definitely getting stronger. We're going to scoot our way off this way and just see if we... Oops, that's Mountain Domain right there. We'll avoid them because I don't think they'll take too kindly to us being in their territory. Although, to be fair now, this is the border of our territory. <laughs> um, we're going to establish our area. But again, I feel like it's more of a diplomatic presence than anything 
less of an actual conquering than it is kind of uh, just uh, spreading diplomacy and making sure we have good relations in all these areas and kind of having permission there and kind of maybe mediating. Because, I mean, the Forest Guardian said that our job is to bring balance, right? So it's not necessarily just to conquer. It's to uh, to bring balance and to spread peace. And so by by claiming the territory... So, like, if we kind of manage the territory and we're in charge of the territory then there shouldn't really be disputes because it's our territory and so we can dictate who does what where, right? At least that's how I'm kind of seeing it. If, we, if we've claimed all the territory, then that just means that we're in charge of managing who gets it and so we can more easily, A, we can more easily settle disputes and such. Um, at least that's how I look at it as opposed to it just being, um, uh, it just, it being us completely conquering it. Um, that's how I'm seeing it. <laughs> and I think, the totem I think was either, I think it was one of these tiles around here. I'm not 100% positive. Hopefully we didn't pass it. It's not here. It's here, it's here, I see it on the map. Alright, let's make sure that we go and, um, we go activate it so that we don't have to come all the way out here again. A great treasure I carry. Are you worthy of it? I think we are. I shall judge that for myself. Answer my three riddles correctly, and I may bestow my treasure upon you. What does the herb Valerian do if you use it? It gives you a speed boost. How many power paws are there to be found in the world total? There are 20. And who is the leader of the forest colony? That would be Mayor. Alright. Uh, Mayor, and at some point soon here, probably Firefly, because... Firefly is in training to be the next leader, and we will be catching up with him at some point here. Uh, we'll just do that a little bit later on. For now, I want to continue to explore all the new features of the colony update, the custom colony update, that is, so that uh, we can... Oh no, we scared it! Oh man. <laughs> um, so that we can kind of explore that a little bit more, and then we'll go back to the forest colony and kind of... Um, uh, we'll have we'll have Firefly's story kind of start running alongside this. We'll probably end up running that one one day of the week and this one two of the week. Um, once we drop this back to a three day schedule, because eventually, right now, because it's um, because you guys are all so very excited about this for one, but because the update just came out, I want to make sure we're getting as much of it in as we possibly can. But as we start exploring more of the features and uh, getting into um, kind of a longer term exploration as opposed to just the short term look at all these new things um we'll probably end up going or cutting it back to three days a week and then one of those days will end up being fireflies day so that's kind of my plan for the series so don't you worry you guys you all have been loving this so far and i'm definitely not going to be stopping it anytime soon uh, but eventually i do want to get uh, larkin and oberon stories running again as well and with fireflies starting up we're not going to be running this particular one all the days of all the weeks but i definitely encourage you guys to stick around for firefly story and if you haven't seen oberon and larkin stories definitely check those out as well they're not uh, they were not quite as far into them as we were into Dusty's Tale uh, they don't quite have as much content but they will be resuming and those two eventually may end up having their own colonies as well possibly we will have to see they're a little ways out yet they're both still working with the forest guardian uh, but we'll have to see what comes of that um, and both stories are definitely uh, definitely pretty interesting, and I would highly recommend you guys check them out if you're if you're looking for more cat tales, and you just can't wait for the next episode here. Definitely make sure you check those out because those will be starting up again sometime soon, uh, once we stop running this one full time and and move it to um, a more scheduled as opposed to daily, uh, a more daily or as scheduled as opposed to daily setup. So let's come over here. Canyon Mesa. Where's the battle? I think it's one over. Okay. So we should be able to get there. I don't think we'll have any problems. And we'll probably... I think we'll probably end up getting to the festival in the next episode, actually, because uh, we're pretty close to the end. Or the ne next episode, maybe the episode after, actually. Alright. Oh, boy. And this is the forest colony. Oh, no, you guys. We're supposed to be friends. We're supposed to be friends. I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight you. I just... You guys don't recognize this, do you? 
Oh no, these guys are supposed to be our friends because this is our brother's colony. But nope, they're 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 still very upset with us. <laughs> um, and I don't think they quite recognize a lot of the new cats of the colony. So we do have to fend them off if they're going to be intruding here. Oh my goodness, whoa, we went spinning there. I forgot you can spin if you go too fast on the ice. Uh, but you actually can. You start spinning around like that. And I think... Come springtime, we're going to start raising reputation with the, uh, the forest colony again. But for now, we're not going to do that just yet. So when that happens, we'll end up getting Autumn's Coat, I think, at the forest colony shop. Because I'm pretty sure that's where it comes from. And then we'll be able to properly update her appearance. But for now, um... We can't do that just yet. Oh yeah, we gotta make sure we get back and talk to our guard too. Oh, and we are getting hungry. Really hungry, actually. Um, let's catch this mouse and make sure we eat because we are really, really hungry. <laughs> Alright, we'll eat some of these berries because nobody particularly likes the berries. And then we'll eat a mouse as well. I'm trying to save the, the stuff that I know sells well or that other cats like. And not eat all of that up so we can maximize our profit from it. Um, I feel like Overcast is the sort, too, who would go a little bit hungry if she needs to uh, for the good of the colony, because they are just starting out, and I imagine winter could be a little bit of a difficult time. So let's go ahead and strategize, and where should we fight? Let's fight here again, because I think that will be good. That will help us continue to earn some more territory up there. Let's finish off with a little bit of hunting. I think we'll, we'll hunt until a little bit later and then head back to wrap up the episode because it is getting close to that time again. Um, oops, and this guy is gonna get stuck probably. Oh, he's up there. I see him. I see him. And we got him. Yeah, we got him, so we should be good. And here is a dove. Doves are nice. They sell for a lot. If we can catch them, but this time we did. We got that one pretty good. And a black hair. These guys also sell for quite a lot. How are our skills? We have enough to upgrade fighting, and I'm going to go ahead and do that. Because I think that's a very beneficial skill to have. It helps quite a lot. And then let's see if we can catch this crow. And then I think we'll head back for the evening because it is about that time again. So let's make our way back up here. Maybe we'll see if we can... Maybe we'll sell some stuff off. No, I think we'll just go ahead and do that next time. Uh, but we'll head back to our den for now and wrap up the episode. So we definitely, I definitely want to see, I'm curious to see what, um, what style we'll unlock for winter time because we seem to unlock, or we seem to, or what one will be available that is, because I want to get the castle one at some point, but I'm curious to see what the winter theme will be. Um, because you can get different styles at the festivals, apparently. So, anyway, though, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.